Health Watch time. There is a new option for the more than half a million women annually who receive a hysterectomy. Previously, the recovery time was long and mm -hmm. the incision was large. But Dr. Corla, a gynecologist with West Houston Medical Center, is here with why all that is no longer necessary. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I think this sounds incredibly intriguing. A huge advancement in medicine, isn't it? Oh, yeah. This is. I'm very excited about this new procedure. Um, we've gone away from the large abdominal incisions to more minimally invasive incisions. And we've gone down to uh, three holes, like about the size of a, a pencil eraser, and uh, even robotic surgery. But now we're down to being able to do this just through the belly button. About, uh, so this is, uh, I would, as we look at the video here, uh, uh, kind of a laparoscopic sort of yes. procedure? Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's laparoscopic, but done only through the belly button. I was surprised when I saw these stats because I knew a lot of women had hysterectomies, but I didn't realize that one out of three women will have it before they turn 60. Why so many women? Well, before 50, usually the reason for hysterectomies is usually abnormal bleeding or uh, uterine fibroids or pain, uh, endometriosis. After 50, it's usually more of uh, uterine prolapse or some malignancy or something like that. So who becomes a, a candidate for this sort of, uh, of approach, or is it universally available to, to everyone? Well, you know, that's a great question. Uh, more than 50% of hysterectomies right now in America are still done through a big incision. But I think more than 90% of hysterectomies can be done laparoscopically, either through uh, three holes or uh, robotically or now single site. And I think I would say most women can be done this way. It's so hard to imagine how it's done through the navel. I mean, that's such a small space. How in the world is it even physically possible to well, make a huge uterus come through that small hole? Well, we ha well, the uterus doesn't come out through there. Okay. We just have our instrumentations that go through they there. They go through that. Yes, okay. we have a camera and then two other instruments that go mm -hmm. through there. And once we are able to get the uterus off their connections mm -hmm. in the abdomen, we pull everything out from below. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I've got it. Now, that, makes, that makes better sense because I cannot figure out physically oh. how that would work. Okay. But unless we have a uterus that's too big, mm -hmm. then we end up having to take it out in pieces. We put it in a bag mm -hmm. and take it out in pieces mm -hmm. through the belly button. Oh, so you do do it that yeah. way then. Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. intriguing. And then not only the minimal scarring, but the uh, the recovery time mm -hmm. is, oh, I've, yeah. got, I've got to imagine, just sped up so dramatically. I mean, you have less holes. I mean, my, my philosophy has always been less holes and smaller holes. Now, this is probably at the peak of where we're at, that I think, but you never know what's going to happen in the future, but there's one little hole. It's, nobody knows where it is unless you're, you know, you're, you're trained in seeing where scars are. You, you can't tell where this is. And because you're, you have less holes, you have less uh, chances for infection, less bleeding, um, and, and less pain. And tell us about this picture we're seeing right now. So this okay. patient had it done and, and we can't even tell. Can yeah, we? it's right there through that belly button right there. Yeah, so you never even would never know. And mm -hmm. before, again, how long would the scar be? It would be pretty long, I, 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 I don't know if we have that picture, but yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. it's a big scar. It's about uh, probably five inches. And there then, it is right and there. Yeah, and then you could have a, that, that one has a keloid scar right mm -hmm. there. And, and then, so she's in significantly more pain than uh, somebody who's done laparoscopically and, and single site. It's, mm -hmm. it's amazing. I mean, patients, patients are completely amazed and, and, and uh, they love it. You know, I've got to imagine you know, we do so many other things laparoscopically mm -hmm. in the medical world. Why did it take so long for this application to, to come about, do you think? No, no, no. We've had laparoscopic okay. surgeries. And, and, you know, we talk about hysterectomy because that's the, mm -hmm. the big surgery that uh, uh, me, as a gynecologist, that's what we do. But mm -hmm. we've been doing tubal ligations, ovarian cysts, everything through laparoscopy. It's just the single site through the belly button. That's the new, yes. that's the new thing right now. Well, thank goodness for so, that huge mm -hmm. advancement. Well, thank you for being here and well, walking us through me. and just letting women know that that is an option. I think it's a really big oh, yeah. deal. I All mean, right. I, I'm so excited about this and, and to present it to you. All right. Well, Dr. Law, thank you for coming in from West Houston Medical Center. Good to see you here thank today. You. Thank you, sir.